Hello, I'm Julie Heimbach, liver transplant surgeon at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Today I want to highlight a recent study by Russ and colleagues from the United Kingdom titled An Association Between Psychological Distress and Liver Disease Mortality, a Meta-Analysis of Individual Study Participants. This was published just last month in Gastroenterology. This important paper analyzed results from 16 different prospective studies using data that was collected from health survey data over a long period of time from 1994 to 2008 on patients in the United Kingdom. Because previous studies had identified that there was a link between patients with heart disease and patients with psychological distress such as anxiety and depression, the researchers were interested to see if there was a similar relationship between patients with anxiety and depression who also had liver disease. And they wanted to know specifically if there was an impact on outcomes for patients with liver disease and these combined conditions. In this current analysis, there were more than 160,000 patients. And in this study, there were 17,000 who experienced death, and including almost 500 patients who died of liver disease. When they analyzed the results, patients had at a higher levels of anxiety and depression um, were more likely to die of their liver disease than patients who did not have these conditions but still had liver disease, even when it was adjusted for all of other factors that could be contributing. In fact, the risk was 26% higher in the group of patients who had liver disease who also had anxiety and or depression. The majority in the, of the liver disease in this study was from fatty liver disease, 40%, or alcohol-related liver disease, 38%. While it's not likely that either condition causes the other, this study does provide important additional evidence of the negative effects of psychological problems such as anxiety and depression on overall physical health. There are important limitations to the study, as is true for many studies. Of course, it is not known whether the patients had liver disease when they went into the study. And the tool that was used to look at whether the patients had anxiety or depression, which is called the GHQ-12. This is a tool that has been used in many other studies and is thought to be uh, highly reliable. It's not the same as having a clinical diagnosis of anxiety or depression. So therefore, further study on the potential mechanisms behind this link between psychological distress and liver disease mortality, as well as the impact of treatment of anxiety and depression on liver disease outcomes will be important.